Begin. Hit the F button. Begin. Hit. Begin. Hit the F button. This game uses an auto save feature. I can do that. Dredging the depths. Yeah, so from what I've heard, this game is a lot of fun. So, I just want to read the Steam description for you. Dredge, the first line, I love it. You would never see this from a AAA developer, I don't think. Dredge is a single-player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent. Sell your catch, upgrade your boat, and dredge the depths for long-buried secrets. Explore a mysterious archipelago and discover why some of the best or some things are best left forgotten. Very fun. So it's published by Team 17, developed by Black Salt Games. Uh, Black Salt is from Overcooked and a bunch of other games as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, and this game just came out a few days ago. Yeah, they did Batora as well, which I checked out some time ago. They actually have a lot of cool games. Before we leave, hell yeah. Anyways, a whole lot of them. Um, we're gonna jump in. Let's see. Job listing. Angler wanted. Wait, we hit the rocks despite the, the lighthouse? The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from... Let's Maybe friends are gonna be a deep. Um, I'll just fill up my backpack with resources. With stuff and things. And then I'll be uh, selling them at the fishmonger. Maybe friends are gonna be a DLC. That could be. Yo, I was wondering earlier is it possible for me to go in between these rocks over here? Could be. That could be. Could be. See, that could be. Yeah, I was wondering earlier, is it possible for me to go in between these rocks over here? Oh god, uh, I should probably not be doing this at night. That's a really bad idea. Yeah, I was wondering earlier, is it possible for me to go in between these rocks over here? Oh god, uh, I should probably not be doing this at night. That's a really bad idea. Well, I'm gonna do it anyways. There are rocks over here. Okay, so I... Nice. Okay, so I haven't quite figured out yet how to get lumber and scrap. So, 
Yeah, I really would like to get that. I also would really like to have a better light on my boat. I didn't think that was going to be very important. But turns out it is. Um, medium shizen with a steel trooper. I don't care. So I can now buy it. It's got many tongues. Loco, didn't we get to Gabriel mess up the God of War gameplay order? Wait, something slid it out? Ha! Ah, what's going on? This thing is also infected! Yeah, Gabe did make a little mistake. Turns out Gabe is also a human. I know it's hard to believe, Chet, but moderators on the channel are actually humans. Yeah, they're not artificial intelligences. No, I agree. We should replace all of them with AI. First chance I get, okay? I mean, to be fair, the most active moderator on the channel, the one that does most of the timeouts, is LocoBot. Most of the job is already automated. Loco, they're human, but I thought Nuke was German. Yeah, Nuke is German. Yeah, yeah. Fisherman, what is it? Fisherman. Fisherman, what is it? Actually, uh, Sven, Sven, uh, MC Morgan Mental is the one that coded Locobot. He, um, he's not from Sweden. I thought for a long time that his <laughs> Loco didn't. Mean Wait, something's coming. Turns out Gabe is also a human. I know it's hard to believe, Chet, but moderators on the channel are actually humans. Fisherman, what is it? Actually, uh, Sven. Dick. Really fun stuff. I don't know how I save. How do I save? Do I just... Oh, I click the save and quit button. Nice. Nice. Guys, we're back. Um, I played this game for the first time last week. The developers of the game asked if I wanted to do a sponsored stream for it. I was like, yes, because this game seems really fun. And it turns out, yes, it is really fun. Uh, so I've decided I'm going to continue playing it. So, the first two hours of my gameplay were sponsored by the developers. Um, this is not. Although, you know, they did give me a key for the game, obviously. But we're going to continue onwards. Um, this game has actually been really sick. Genuinely, one of the more unique games that has come out recently, right? So this is everybody's favorite genre. It is horror fishing. <laughs> I mean, when's the last time you've played a horror fishing game, Chet? Tell me. Yeah, you haven't, you haven't... This, this doesn't happen. Yeah. So sick. Subnautica kind of qualifies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the TLDR of the game so far is we got to this little island. My boat crashed close to the lighthouse somehow. Um... We are stuck on the island, it seems, but the mayor of the island gave us a little boat to go fishing. And we can upgrade the boat, we can upgrade our rods, we can, you know, make improvements here and there to, like, the amount of storage that we have, the, the I don't know, the speed of the boat, all the rest of it. Um, in the meantime, we've been doing a lot of quests, and we found out that there's some mysterious stuff going around in the island, where people are disappearing, there's a lot of, like, shipwreck, at night, there's this fog that comes rolling in, but we can't really tell exactly what's going on there either. It's... Yeah, it's been interesting. It's been interesting. Here we are. So this is my boat. It hobbles towards you. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, sorry, I've already found a couple of... ...found a bunch of explosives that would be very... Clearing this would take... A ...pile of loose debris. A pile of loose debris. Clearing this... I've already found a couple of... An old man emerges... Ah, great. Greeting. This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I've been happy here for so long. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea. Left on... What's this then? What's this then? What's this then? A pile of smart people. Okay. That's cool. That's amazing. You had a nickname, Mimi? Yeah, getting getting in a, a unique gamer. Oh, I'm broke. I have no money. After that fish. Okay. Thought it sounded fun. I don't even really know why I picked Loco in the end. I have no idea. I think I just... You just go by the idea of Fury? I think Fe I don't even really know why I picked Loco in the end. I have no idea. I think I just... Thought it sounded funny. I didn't even really realize it had meaning. Turns out words have meaning, chat. Oh, I'm broke. I have no money. After that fish. Okay. Yeah, getting getting in a, a unique gamer tag is hard these days, man. You had a nickname Mimi when you were a kid. You used to be known as Great Mimi or Mimi Da Great. That's amazing. Select the troll net ability with E and lower it with Select the troll. Select the troll net ability with E and lower it with the right mouse button. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Would really like. Don't have to act. I don't know. Also, yeah, do engineers have companions? I don't know. Um, so it's been a little bit since I've last played the game, guys. Dredging the depths. Ha! Good one. Um, it's been a couple days since I've last played this game. Doctor Edge is a great game. Doctor Edge is a great game. What's it about? Edge? No, 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 no. I thank you, Miss Nepper. Um, this is a game about, um, no, chat, 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 chat. This is a game about... This guy reviews pens. This guy, depend, oh, here we go. This is a great website. What is this? Um, I don't read, or I don't, I don't know what they're called. Jetstream these pens are OP, man. If you, uh, I don't know what they're called. Jet streams. I can't, I don't read, or I don't write much, but I have like six of these. Um, what is this? Uh, there was this great website. Oh, here we go. This is great website.
website. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Depenedict.com. This guy, this guy has an awesome website. This dude, and I, this, I, this is why I love the internet. This guy reviews pens. And he's got like recommendations for pens that you should get in case you're unfamiliar. Oh. It's really nice. Pen Island? No, 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 guys. Pen Island is entirely different. Anyways, I am by no means, uh, I don't know much about pens, but yes. Fountain pens for beginners? Isn't that great, though, about the internet that, like, somebody's out there making a website dedicated to reviewing pens? I think that's pretty sick. Um. Yeah, Toby was here at that. Watches, Loco? We can talk about watches. Oh no, it's not. Oh, that's so scary. Go. W W. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Bunny. Guys, we're about to sail off the edge of the world. Um. Oh God, oh, that's so scary. I don't think that's a Funny wife at all. X300, you, ara, you, ara. Oh God, oh, that's so <laughs> To sail off the edge. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. The anime wife. Don't worry. The anime waifus don't like you anyway. Copium, Dita Hunter. Hello. Yep. He's a little jealous. You do? Ara. You do? Ara. W W. Oh. Thank you very much, Bunny. Thank you very much, Bunny. Thank you very much, Bunny. I thought I would be... I've been going out of the map for... Yeah, I've made a lot of friends. That's, are these my viewers? Is this what you guys look like? Okay, I did it, guys. <gasps> that thing is called the sun. It's going up in the east. I did it, guys. <gasps> that thing is called the sun. That thing is called the sun. It's going up in the east. Ooh. Nice fishy, good fishy.
<laughs> I didn't expect it would come just- okay. Alright, alright, I'm a little scary. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it would come just okay. Alright, alright, I'm a little scared. Okay, okay. Sound like there's a massive animal here. So it's peaceful, West. I believe it. Why does it sound like there's a mass? Why does it sound like there's a. I store explosions in the cargo hold. Of course. I store explosions in the cargo hold. I store explosions in the cargo hold. Of course. Europeans once traveled west. Yeah, yeah. We were mostly trying to one-up each other. It's one of the stranger dick measuring contests in history. Like, oh shit, Spain's going? Oh far, oh far, oh shit, England's going to Portugal? Well, that means we have to go too. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Shit. What is this? So this is an abyssal fish. A barrel eye. Dude, this guy has a see-through head. His forehead is huge. If I was a fish, I'd be a barrel eye. Should be good. So, I think we should be good. Guys, we're back. I played. I think we should be good. Guy. I store explosions in the cargo hold. Of course. Europeans once traveled west. Yeah, yeah. We were mostly trying to one up each other. It's one of the stranger dick measuring contests in here. I played this game two days ago. I set a reminder in the chat. Loco, get a big net, catch some fish, sell them, then get the big fishing net. This is what we're going to start off with today. I've been upgrading my little boat for a while. And I have unlocked this. The large trawl net. I... 
How much do I need for this? $360. I can actually sell this one. Yeah, I'll sell it. I can't tell what the front is and what the back is. So what am I looking at? I think that's... Oh, it's a tiny little... Atlantic. It can open... Google this fish. A gulper. Nice. A gulper eel. It can open wider than the length of its body. Also known as a pelican eel. A deep sea eel. Is it the best picture we, we can find? In the North Atlantic, it seems to have a range in depth of 500 to 3,000 meters. Loco, click the link. I feel like I'm gonna get creeped out, man. Oh, it's a tiny little fish! Is this the front or the... What am I looking at? I think that's the front. Oh, bro, don't zoom in so far. Stop it. Stop with the zooming in. You're, you're creeping me out, man. I can't tell what the front is and what the back is. Well, I mean, that the, 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 the tail is the back. I get that one, but like... Oh, it had its mouth open right there. I see. Well, unless he never... At least he never goes thirsty. Dude, that is wild. Oh, look, there's his eyes right over there. He looks like Pac-Man with a tail. Dude, fucking deep water creatures are mental. I watched the documentary of these, like, two scientists who went down in, like, one of those little tiny... They kind of look like helicopters, but ones that are supposed to go underwater. And they, they use those things just for research, right? And they basically mentioned something along the lines of, yeah, these expeditions are so difficult to do and so expensive to... It really only is, like... There's probably some... I think that must be it. Oh, is that the thing I've... Oh, I think I have found. Stellar Basin. Oh, I think... I... Where is it? Oh, that's the... I think that must be it. Jewel on Crested Bend? Is that the... Jewel on Crested Bend? Is that Jewel on Crested Bend? Is that the one? Okay. Would be delivering this package to little very much boiler for the 30 months. My net just caught one of them. Have up in a minute. Oh, what the SpaceX launch just happened, but the rocket blew up in the air like by design, or it blew up. Um... No, 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 there weren't any people in this one. I know there's a test flight for the rocket they're supposed to take to Mars, I think. Oh, it was by design. Okay. The flight termination sequence. Okay. That sound... Dude, the way you wrote it in the, tr in the chat sounded like one of those, like... Shitty news sites headlines. SpaceX launch results in explosion. By design. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> All right, I see. I'll uh, I'll check out a little video.
Alrighty, guys, we're in an entirely new area. I haven't been here yet. Let's go ahead and get. Okay. Let's go ahead and get. I'll hang them on the tree. I've got two of them. I'll hang them on the tree. Okay. Let's go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Twitter account called Dinner with Beans. Use the fishing rod. Sleep over here. Maybe when I get one more of those items back to the guy, he'll give me one of those research parts, and then I can get the research part to get one more of those fishing rods, and then I can use the fishing rod to get the coastal, and, and I can catch everything. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Look, I heard you like beans. I came across this Twitter account called Dinner with Beans. Dinner with Beans? The whole account is just pictures of dinner with beans? Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, it's not super gross, but beans aren't my favorite. They're very healthy, though. That's the main thing about beans. Logo, here's a true American meal. Let's see. What did you just link? What is this? It's just a picture of food? There's a lot of things going on on this plate, but uh, it looks pretty good. Okay, I have a creature corpse. Let's see it then. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Uh -huh. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Alrighty. Alright. Alrighty. Do you think this guy is gonna give me the item? Do you think this place is now fully safe? 
Hey, Siphon, thank you so much. Welcome. 50 months, hell yeah. With a sickening tear, he wrests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace glistening in gore. There it is. A large and ornate necklace. Ivory teardrops flank the central setting. An emerald trapped by four cresting waves. He stands back from the corpse. A melancholic... Or, yeah, okay. Now, well, that's it, I suppose. What will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort way uh, away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay. I'm gonna go ahead and use... The cat has settled down, guys. Is he gonna remain settled down? I don't know. I think we're alright. We can play a little bit of Dredge. Anyone unfamiliar with this game? So my playthrough of this game started off with a sponsored stream. They asked if I wanted to do two hours of sponsored content. I was like, oh, this game looks neat. Yeah, let's do it. Um, and it's turned into uh, a complete playthrough, because this game is sick. You've never seen this before? Okay, so imagine this. Your two favorite genres of games mixed together into one. On the one hand, horror. On the other hand, fishing. Uh, that's basically the game. They somehow uh, mixed a very scary story uh, and a fishing game together. And all jokes aside, it's genuinely very creative. Mortuary's Fisherman? Yeah. Those aren't your favorite genres? Wait, what? I'm not usually big into horror, but this is uh, it's not really that scary, I guess. But it's an intriguing story, to say the least. I guess the ocean in general is kind of scary. That's true. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I am, in case you're unfamiliar, I'm this guy. This is my boat. I started off in this area and my boat was not very good, but these days it is actually quite powerful. So there's a lot of different docks in the game and I can upgrade my boat as well. For example, at the shipwright, I can put additional tools on it. And in order to unlock all of these different upgrades and things, I need to upgrade my ship. So there's these research points that I can gather out in the world. I can spend these on different parts and then I unlock them and they effectively become for sale. The way I make money is by doing quests and by, um, well, fishing, right? As you may have already guessed. So I've got actually a pretty good setup right now. Um, I'm trying to upgrade a lot of stuff over here. So there's items I can find around in the world as well that upgrade my vessel itself. So this next tier upgrades my vessel to a tier 4 hull and adds 50 new cargo spaces. So that's honestly huge. Um, if I could get some lumber, so I need... Three bolts of cloth and four lumber. Um, and 1,500 gold. So I actually have enough gold for this. But I just need to, yeah, find these resources. I think that's what I'm going to get started with today. I have a lot of um, objectives here in general too. So I actually just finished one area. And I now have to go to the Devil's Spine. Which I think is one of the last areas actually of the game. There's still some other side quests over here too if I care. But I don't know if I care. I think I'm going to... Look around for a little bit. We need some bolts of cloth and some other stuff. I think I'm going to go ahead and explore these couple of islands over here first. Okay. So, at night in this game... Oh god, I forgot how fast I am now. Uh, I'm trying to go north... East. Yeah. Um, at night in this game... Yo! Happy birthday to none other than me. Balls. Big balls. Bro, you said your birthday was on Thursday, then it was on Friday, then it was on Saturday, now your birthday is still going on on Monday? But soon it will salt brave the state
The sting of the salt pain is a trick of the flesh. Do not surrender to it. Finally, what does the world deserve? Nothing. Exactly, and yet it takes endlessly harvesting, draining. But soon it will know that it has taken too much. It is already too late. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role is my initiate is to act as the Herald of Perch. I can be Herald? <laughs> I always wanted to be Herald. Thank you, Clunt. Ooh. Oh, top, thank you. I'll be clear now. Oh shit, okay. I got uh, baklava, guys. Is that what it's called in English? Oh, it doesn't sound very English. Or Dutch. <sighs> Apparently a colleague of Laurent's brought it uh, to work. Rest in peace, glycemic levels. That's okay, Kos. Yeah, this shit is good, man. I think it's the end of Ramadan? Yeah, it's the end of Ramadan, so I guess they had leftovers? These things are great. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's very good. <laughs> Your office is free baklava, but you are of 80% home office. There you go. Wait, did Ramadan end? This weekend? Or last weekend? Oh. Not exactly sure, but... A few days ago? Okay, okay. Your role as my initiate is to act as Herald of the Perch, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearts of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless, fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. This is my quest. Retrieve the three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles? Visit the Shrines of the Deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance and I must provide no more. Okay. I guess I'll rest. Yo, Spleen! Two roads diverged in the yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. I have no idea where that is from. But I do appreciate you. Thank you very much, Spleen. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much, by the way, Clunt, for the 60-month resub. Five years is a very long time. Thank you, dude. And thank you, of course, as well, Mr. Spleenlord, for the support. Um, I'm looking for sunken relics. Are there any shipwrecks around here? He pulls an antique pocket watch from ins- A watch?! He pulled a watch?! Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You're drawn to it, I see. Yeah, found me during- <laughs> Yeah. It found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped at my spirit when I first discovered it, or recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will you, when the ritual is prepared, it will be yours. Bro, I can get a watch from doing this quest? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Make area in my other fishing rod. Oh, more. I guess. Well, I can use this, I guess. Yeah, this sells for all. So this is how I'm gonna fill up those last slots, I guess. For my, uh, my engines. So I got this upgrade already. So this
So this is how I'm gonna fill up the So this is how I'm gonna fill up those last slots, I guess. For my, uh, my engines. So I got this upgrade already. I got that upgrade already. Not yet gotten this one. I am using consumables, man. I'm sorry. I hate to disappoint you all, but... Okay, I need some cursed fish. Excuse me, sir. Could you maybe be cursed? Why are you regular? Give me two cursed fish. It's like, uh, I think it's like a 1 in 10 chance. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, that one... That one's pretty cursed. Okay, you get to stay with me. Chittering mandibles sight the air in front of this deep dweller. Its small body encased in a suit of thick bone. Don't say it, Chet. Don't say it. That was not your nickname in college. Let's be real. I know for a fact it wasn't. No, I don't know. Nobody's like if if it, no, there's no way. Nobody's whose nickname was Thick Bone in college watches live streams on Twitch. I don't believe it. These guys are out there living their best life right now. Struggling. Ha! Okay. Ooh, you got some green curry. Nice. I need one more cursed fish. Curry in general is really nice, man. There's a restaurant pretty close by that we found out about like half a year ago. That has some really nice curries. And every time I go over there, I always feel brave when I pick the spicy one. This has happened, like, I think we've been there three years. Or three years, three times. And every time I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna pick the spicy one. And then I have a little bit from whatever Loran picks and she, she doesn't like spicy food at all. And it's pretty much always better. I like spicy food until I try non-spicy food. I'm like, you know what? Next time I go, I'm gonna pick the non-spicy version. <laughs> but there's a very good chance that next time I'm there, I'm once again, you know, Yeah, it's like properly spicy too. Like not, you know, Dutch levels of spice. I'm pretty sure the average Dutch person thinks uh, black pepper is uh, spicy, you know? Like bubbled water. <laughs> water with bubbles is pretty spicy for the average Dutchman, okay? But it's like, it's like proper spice. To the point where like... Or three years... What's she doing? What's she... It's... Uh, a character or Roger who does like you know a variety of videos I guess and he's got a uh, a character he plays called Uncle Roger drain it Dra what's she doing what's she it's uh, he gets very upset when he there's a colander and it, it, I don't know it's funny it's pretty funny yeah he's roasting all the big chefs which is uh there's one episode where Jamie Oliver uses chili jam. I don't. Oh, she's alone. 
loneliness and eventually drowned her and the feeling this is the good ending that's what happens oh shit that's the thing that appears when you try to go out of the map well that's what happens when you uh, go a little too deep into the ocean yeah This is the good ending? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is the good ending. It depends on your definition of good, I suppose. The wiki's plot summary seems decent. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, light mode, ha! Huh? Okay. Here we go. A fisherman sails to the coastal town of Greater Marrow, situated in a distant archipelago, to take up a job offer to be the town's local angler. While the job is normal enough, the fisherman soon begins to notice a strange phenomena, especially at night where he encounters strange mist. Rocks that suddenly appear out of nowhere, ghost ships, hostile wildlife, sea monsters, and the feeling of being watched. In addition, as he sails around the archipelago, he begins to find and pick up messages in bottles, which are diary entries written by the newlywed wife, known only as JJ. Right, so that's my wife. As she recounts how she first arrived in the archipelago with her husband, who she witnessed dredging up a mysterious casket from the sea floor, which he subsequently opened and released some sort of supernatural power. Afterwards, the husband left JJ behind in Greater Marrow to go on an extended fishing expedition, but JJ went mad from loneliness and eventually drowned herself. The fisherman then encounters a man called the Collector, who lives alone on an isolated island mansion. The collector takes the fisherman or tasks the fisherman with exploring the other islands of the archipelago and the ancient ruins they uh, ruins rather they hide to recover a number of relics. The collector also uses a special book called the Book of the Deep to grant the fisherman supernatural powers that he can use on his expeditions. Once the fisherman collects all of the relics, he can either choose to hand them over to the collector or withhold them. If the fisherman hands over the relics, the collector reveals that he is JJ's husband who recovered the Book of the Deep from the casket and discovered a ritual that could resurrect JJ. He had the fisherman gather the relics, all personal items of JJ, because they are required for the ritual. The fisherman takes the collector to the part of the ocean where JJ had drowned herself and performs the ritual by throwing the collected relics overboard. The ritual successfully resurrects JJ, but also awakens a massive eldritch beast, which destroys Greater Marrow and presumably the rest of the world. If the fisherman withholds the relics, he confronts the collector and finds out to his shock that the collector is a figment of his own imagination, being an avatar of his own repressed memories and guilt over JJ's death. Rather than follow the collector's bidding, the fisherman heads out to sea and throws the book of the deep into the ocean, resulting in him and his boat being swallowed by a massive sea monster. Okay. Very cool, guys. Very fun little game, dude. Very cool stuff. Honestly, uh, really well made. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, it doesn't have a lot of replayability. I know that's always something that people bring up. But it'll probably be on sale for like five bucks before the end. I think it's a little too... Pr it's well worth it, man. It's fun. It's fun.
Dare underscore Sagittarius just subscribed. A chicken 655 just subscribed. Side character underscore B just subscribed.